Okay, now we want to know it. How can we control the new variables? So what we want is to minimize the strain energy. So we see on the left the equation for the strain energy divided by the volume of the element. This is the strain energy density. And this one is this one is the, um, the equation what we want to minimize. Okay. We saw last time that um, we need the sensitivity of this one. So how can we get it? We differentiate it by the um, by the design variable. So it's in this case the density of the element, and then we get this um, equation. It doesn't matter what what there is um, in the in the detail, but you only need to see it how it will work. We we differentiated each part of the equation, so we need u transfer k and u. We we really do it for for all the three cases, and we can. The only one what we need to know is how can we um, interpret 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 um, this different kinds in the equation. Okay, for for doing this, we solve uh, we use the solving system and do the same again. We differentiate it by the um, design variable. Then we we modify it a little bit, and after that we can um, put it into our formula. I don't want to go into detail. We only need the final result, but we can. Um, but you can achieve on in this how it will work for some other problems where you don't know how it will work. The last one is the material law. This material, we need it for um, the problem on the right um, corner. Um, the, the K derivative by um, the density of the element. And we do three times the same. We always direct they were right. We have three equations and we want to differentiate it to um, the density of the element. And if we put it all together, we get this equation. And this is the one we need for our problem. So we solve this equation for each element and then we get the sensitivity. Okay. We know how topology optimization will work. A little bit in detail, but some is. Um, you, if you have some question, you can um, ask me. If you don't know how it will work in detail. Okay, but let's do it for two um, cases, and then we combine it. So the first one is a static load case, and the second one is a thermal load case. And the thermal load case is. This is the interesting one. Um, you have a, a temperature which um, is our um, heat um, source, and on the field we have a cooling. Um, we have a, uh, a cooling load, which um, says okay on the whole field there can be is is cooling be done. Okay, the static load case is clear. It's, it's a typical load case on. Um, uh, a static uh, topology optimization. Okay, how can we combine it? The so first one, you see it on the left side, weight values. We can weight it. We can say, okay, we use the density of the first one and the second uh, problem, and then we use a, a weight value, and we get the result on the left hand side, where we see. So this result is not a clear structure, and I don't know if it really if it fits good or not. So I need another method. But maybe white values aren't that bad. We we get a, a estimation of um, how it should be. And the other one is we can use weight values not for the um, design variables for the sensitivities. And if we do that, we get a clear structure which fits very well. It looks really, really great, and I think that's the best thing for these two log cases. 
So this this can be used for a problem which we don't know um, how the result should look like. The second one is adaption. I have an existing um, part or model and I want to add some new um, good properties. And this means I use the old structure and add some new material on on places where it should is it's really nice. So if you do it on a static low case, we get some some yeah some tree structure around the whole old structure. If you do it on the thermal low case, well this one doesn't look really nice. So sometimes you need to to do it again and again and change a little bit the values and then you get a better result. The last one is adaption with weight values. This is maybe the, the, the best one with adaption. We use we, we don't adapt um, only the thermal or the static um, function, we adapt a mixed function and then we get an, a really quite nice, nice result. In the end we need to check all results and choose the, the best one. Okay, now I show you how this is done in a, in a tool, for example. It's a little tool. You can choose some different um, parameters like terminal structure, sensitivity, and combine it. And after that, we get our result. Okay, it doesn't look like, like the old one because there are very less it's, it's 40 multiplied with 20 elements but it looks really nice I think. I, I, we can estimate how it should be okay a short slide how can you do it by yourself for an application I don't want to go in detail I don't want to call your source code or something else I only want to go um, show you the idea you get the model, the finite element mesh, and the physical problem from Abacus, Calculix, something else. The only part of your application should be how can I control it? How can I say, okay, there should be material and share not? And then, if you have the model from an external software, you can give it to an external solver like Abacus, Calculix, you can use a Python solver, for example, written by yourself. You can give it, and in each iteration, you change the input decks. Input decks are um, um, the decks which the solver can um, understand how the physics is working. And you change the input deck, so you change material, um, Prob um, the material values of the elements, for example, and after that, you get a result file. Okay, this was it for this. In the next topic, I show you how can we use the results and get, um, put it into Blender.